While Boeing is still struggling with a slew of issues lately, Airbus has shaken the entire industry with reports that it is planning what could be a decisive blow against its biggest U.S. rival. According to sources, Airbus is quietly working on the development of a new aircraft called the Airbus A390, an aircraft based on the A380 platform and expected to directly compete with the Boeing 777X. So why could this new jet defeat Boeing? And how might it redefine the future of aviation? Let's find out. Airbus is placing a bold bet, and if it succeeds, it could rewrite the rules of modern aviation. Launching a new wide-body aircraft is never a simple task. It's a high-stakes equation, blending cutting-edge engineering, global strategy, and tens of billions of dollars in financial risk. So what's driving Airbus, the European aerospace giant, to take this leap? The first and most crucial factor, market demand. Does the world really need a huge aircraft like the A380? When Airbus launched the A380, the so-called king of the skies, it had hoped to dominate long-haul, high-density routes. But instead of glory, it became a symbol of strategic misjudgment. Too big, too expensive, and too limited. Only 144 airports worldwide could accommodate it, causing airlines scheduling headaches and soaring operational costs. Outdated engines only made things worse. To top it off, the A380 arrived just as the industry was shifting from hub to hub to point to point operations. A plane built for yesterday's model quickly became obsolete in today's world. And when Airbus pulled the plug on the A380, it left a significant gap in its wide body long haul segment. One Boeing eagerly filled with the 787-9, 787-10, and the soon to launch 777X and Airbus just left with only the A350 to hold the line. The second factor, massive investment and the need for returns. A new aircraft program could cost as much as $15 billion. Airbus can only justify such a risk if the potential market is big enough, at least 400 orders, to recover R&D and production costs. But there is always a solution to every problem. When Sir Tim Clark asked Airbus for a new version of the A380, Airbus said it would require over $20 billion in investment, and surprisingly, Clark agreed without hesitation. Now, with a replacement for the A380, the equation is solved. But the pressure isn't just financial. Environmental regulations are tightening fast. Any next-generation aircraft, including the potential A390, must feature cutting-edge engines, lightweight composite materials, and highly efficient aerodynamics to meet future emissions standards. Furthermore, the timing might be perfect. By the mid-2030s, early A330 and 777 will begin retiring en masse. Airbus has a golden window to introduce a brand new widebody, one that's more efficient, more sustainable, and ready for the SAF and hydrogen-powered era. It seems Airbus has seen all of this coming, and this time, they're not planning to repeat past mistakes. All signs point to one convergence, the Airbus A390 a symbol of ambition, resurgence, and possibly the final blow that catches Boeing completely off guard. It's amazing to have you still with us. We're on our way to hitting 70,000 subscribers, and you are a big part of that journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss any of our upcoming content. Thank you so much for your incredible support. Have you ever wondered how the A390 looked like? Right from the start, Airbus invested seriously and took a well-planned approach in developing the A390. They chose to craft it using a new generation of composite materials, lighter, stronger, and safer than ever. And the result is a radical reduction in aircraft weight, leading to superior fuel efficiency, lower carbon emissions, and reduced operating costs, the three main factors that every carrier wants. When the first whispers of the A390 surfaced, the aviation world buzzed with wild theories, including one suggesting Airbus might add an unprecedented third deck. That's crazy! But experts quickly dismissed the rumor. Airbus has no intention of repeating the mistakes of the A380. Adding another deck would make the aircraft too heavy, too complex, and too thirsty for fuel, a formula for disaster. And Airbus has learned. This time, they're getting it right. The A390 is being designed as a single-deck widebody, sleek, streamlined, and powerful. Crucially, it will be airport friendly, unlike the A380, which could only operate at 144 airports worldwide, the new aircraft's dimensions will allow it to land and take off from most major hubs. 
This opens the door for more flexible route planning, efficient network expansion, and operational agility that airlines desperately need. And this size will offer it a capacity of 400 to 450 passengers, depending on the airline's cabin configuration, beating the Boeing 777X, which maxes out at 426. But here's the real knockout punch. A range of up to 11,580 miles, 18,640 kilometers. That's enough for non-stop flights between far-flung cities like New York and Sydney, London and Auckland, effortlessly crushing the 777-9's 8,383 mile range and even the 777-8's 10,046 miles. And that's just the outside. Inside, the A390 will redefine the passenger experience for a twin-engine aircraft. The cabin is ultra-spacious, styled in a modern, minimalist yet luxurious design. Same as the legendary A380, it is also a powerful branding machine that helps airlines will be able to configure seating across a wide spectrum, from extra legroom economy to first-class suites with lie-flat beds, onboard bars, and even private lavatories. Larger windows let in more natural light, while advanced noise insulation ensures a quiet, serene journey. Air quality gets a major upgrade too. A new filtration system maintains ideal humidity and cabin pressure, minimizing fatigue on long-haul flights. And the smart LED lighting system, which simulates daylight across time zones, keeps passengers' circadian rhythms in check and helps beat jet lag, a game-changer on ultra-long routes. But now, here's the part that is more amazing than whatever you can think about, the engines. Airbus is in active talks with Rolls-Royce to power this new aircraft with the Ultrafan a cutting-edge, high-bypass turbofan engine that's been in development for over a decade. Ultrafan is expected to deliver up to 25% better fuel efficiency than current-generation engines, dramatically slashing costs and emissions. Analysts believe this could mirror the success Airbus and Rolls-Royce achieved with the Trent XWB on the A350 and take it to the next level on the new aircraft. Moreover, in the cockpit, the A390 will represent the next frontier of flight tech. Augmented reality, AR, displays will enhance situational awareness, providing pilots with intuitive, real-time data overlays. The latest generation fly-by-wire system ensures ultra-smooth, safe control. Most impressively, the aircraft will be equipped with AI and machine learning capabilities, allowing it to analyze massive amounts of sensor data and autonomously adjust in real time across every phase of flight, from takeoff to landing. This reduces pilot workload while enhancing efficiency and safety. And that's not all. Airbus is pushing connectivity to new heights. The new aircraft will feature broadband satellite communication systems, keeping passengers connected at 40,000 feet. From email and video calls to live streaming high definition content and joining virtual meetings, everything will work seamlessly in the sky. It's a huge win for business travelers who want to make every minute count, even in the air. Finally, the A390 is a future-proof platform designed to lead the transition to sustainable aviation fuel, SAF, and ready for hybrid electric and hydrogen propulsion systems. Airbus is also exploring low-emission ground and air operation procedures, setting the stage for this aircraft to become a true icon of greener, smarter aviation. Airbus struck at a time that couldn't be more critical. While Boeing is struggling through a series of crises, developing a new aircraft to counter the A390 is, at least for now, virtually impossible. First, the 777X program is already over five years behind schedule. This delay has hit airlines like Emirates hard, forcing them to spend heavily to temporarily upgrade aging wide-body fleets, aircraft that were supposed to be replaced by the 777X. Long-term plans have been thrown into disarray and trust is eroding, but that's not all. Boeing is also entangled in a messy certification process for the 737 MAX 7 and 10, all while facing immense pressure from regulators to overhaul its corporate culture and put safety and quality back at the center. Cracks in Boeing's wide-body strategy are becoming more and more visible. Then came another blow. A deadly accident involving a 787 operated by Air India reignited concerns about the Dreamliner's reliability at the worst possible moment. With a major and expanding customer like Air India, this was not just a technical failure, it was a direct hit to Boeing's credibility. In this situation, Boeing's only real option is to survive. It must urgently complete the 777X for commercial service and then work through the remaining certification hurdles 
for the Mac 7 and 10. Only when these pressing challenges are resolved can Boeing even begin to think about launching a new aircraft to reclaim ground from Airbus, and that, realistically, is still far away. Meanwhile, Airbus is accelerating. And remember, the battle for the skies is no longer a two-player game between Airbus and Boeing. New challengers are rising, bold and ambitious. From the east, China's Comac is advancing with the C919, C929, and C939, seen as domestic replacements for both Boeing and Airbus. In the north, Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has launched the MC-21, featuring cutting-edge aerodynamics and modern materials, ready to compete head-on with Western aircraft. In this context, the Airbus A390 is a strategic move calculated to perfection. It's a sharp response to pressure from Boeing and a defensive shield against emerging threats. Airbus enters this phase of the game with major advantages, proven technology, lean manufacturing processes, a global supply chain, and deep partnerships with the world's top airlines. Airlines today don't just need to fly farther, they need to fly smarter. They must balance operational costs with an elevated passenger experience. This Airbus new aircraft is a game changer. Superior fuel efficiency, simpler maintenance, and significantly lower operating expenses. That translates into real savings, money that can be reinvested into service upgrades, route expansions, or gaining a competitive edge in a crowded market. And it doesn't stop there. It is also a powerful branding machine, much like the A380 once was. The cabin can be fully customized, from ultra-luxurious business suites to next-generation in-flight entertainment, turning the flight into a memorable part of the journey, not just a way to get from point A to point B. Once passengers fall in love with the journey, they'll return, not just for the destination, but for the aircraft itself. The Airbus A390 is more than a new plane. It's a comprehensive strategy, a bold leap forward infused with advanced technology, forward-thinking design, and a vision to reshape the aviation industry. In a world of constant change, only those who lead and innovate ahead of time can stay on top. Do you want to see the A390 as soon as possible? What do you think the aviation industry will look like when it finally appears? Feel free to leave your thoughts below. Thank you, and stay safe.